what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are here for episode six <laughs> episode six i believe episode six of band of brothers yes episode six and we are jumping in man this series is so it's such a cool thing to the to see sorry guys i have been mispronouncing stuff all day i don't think i've woken up yet so pretty much all the reactions I did before, I've made I've made mistakes of miss saying something or or I don't know if it's because I'm trying to talk too fast or something so my intros um, flow a little bit better because I've made it in my mind to try to kind of do that um, to not be hesitating and doing all this stuff anymore just just to make things go fast even my camera don't want to see me today so anyways man so Band of Brothers is an awesome series guys. I, I love it. I love the portrayal. They they do a very good job of capturing that era, I think, because I wasn't there. I don't know what it looked like, but in cinematic form, it does make you feel like you're actually in the war. So that's pretty cool. So um, so they got the upper hand on the on the Germans. Um, in the last episode, they got the upper hand on it. I'm so glad that Winter survived, but now they're heading back back into uh not back into the war zone where pretty much i think it was the the english was like freaking because they lost so many men they were like turning back and stuff and they're heading over there so they they got all the extra ammo ammo and stuff and they're getting over there um somebody in the comment section had told me that because i thought winters was kind of taking over because that dude was missing are uh, you guys well somebody was also t t saying that the guy that w that went for the wedding he's act he actually came back at the end of the episode but i don't remember seeing him or maybe I read the comment wrong. I don't know. But we'll see in this episode what actually took place. Because um, I was thinking that Winters was going to kind of step back into the role of taking charge of Easy Company. So let's see what happens, man. Let's go see it. And then I will see you guys right back here for the review. It's kind of hard for me to do two episodes at once of, of Band of Brothers because it's an hour long. You know what I'm saying? It's an hour long. So it's a it's a tough series to do two hours straight of it the other ones i can do you know an hour and a half but going two hours is kind of tough for me to do on days when i'm recording multiple series and multiple different reactions okay if it was just band of brothers i'm doing today then i would give you guys two episodes but not so much i don't have that much time i do have some more reactions i need to put out today so guys please come back and check out the review if you're watching the intro right now and i thank you guys in advance for doing that man because the channel is growing right now um at a rate that i did not expect it to start growing again like that um we're getting somewhere around 100 subscribers a week um again so i'm happy for that um but I want you guys to keep doing what you're doing. Keep leaving likes. Keep leaving comments, man. Tell me what you think of the series. And also, let me know what your thoughts are, man. And come back and watch my review so I can keep my watch time up. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys for the review. All right. I'm doing this review, but I, I don't necessarily feel like doing a review right now because I don't. This was a tough episode to get get through. You guys, if you're coming here from my reaction, man, you understand what I'm talking about. Like this episode, I don't know. Like I've already watched five, six episodes now, but the first five didn't. It was real. It felt real, but this episode six, man, like this one. I mean, at one point, I thought I was going. I really thought I was going to cry. I felt like tears were gonna start, like I was gonna tear up, because I just really felt this episode. Like I, I mean, them concentrating on Eugene. I don't know if that's what really brought it home. You know what I'm saying? But it was so real, man. I don't know. You know, it could be because I know what it's like to be that cold. Um, you know, as I've talked about a lot of times on this channel that I was homeless. And I was homeless in New York. And New York 
it gets cold in the winter. And I was homeless during that period, you know, and it's not fun. It is not fun, man. It is not fun. I don't know if, I think maybe that's, it, it kind of, because I saw them and how, how cold they were and how they're just out there. And it's like, they, they you know, they're trying to fight back, but it's like this, the conditions that they're in taking all of that into account. I don't know if, if, it, if, if it was that part of my emotions that it was playing on. And I kind of think it may have had something to do with that, um, of me feeling like, you know what I'm saying? I brought back those memories in a certain way because I I really do know what it's like to be out in the cold, you know, you know, trying to even sleep and can't sleep, you know, you know, minus the gunfire. You know what I mean? So I think that's why it was kind of tough for me. And plus the 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 um just the overall aspect of the 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 graphic showing of wounds and the they showing people just dying in front of your eyes like that one kid man that basically got his neck torn off and they were showing that so much and he's trying to reach out to them they can't get to him and it's just you know everything that's just kind of became so much more real than the other things that we've seen so far man and it, they just they turned it up a notch in this episode six, no doubt about it, man. So I don't have much to say. All I know is if, you know, you know, they got help eventually, but I mean to go through that. And then they destroyed the, the town that they were, you know, you know, kind of giving everybody medical aid and stuff like that. So it was like, ah, uh, at the end there, you know, but I didn't know. I've heard about the Battle of the Bulge before, but I didn't know it had to do with that or them getting rescued or anything like that. Um, and they, you know, funny thing, they never, they said they, nobody from, from the division ever agreed that they needed to be rescued, you know? So that's, that's just pride. That's just pride. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, that's just pride. It just goes to show you, you know, you know, you know the things, you, you know, when you see all this stuff that is happening today and, you know, I wanted to talk about this, but in a separate video, but I'm attacking onto this because it's a serious issue. The stuff that I see so many people are so concerned about today that I'm like, why is this an issue? You know what I'm saying? Why is this an issue, man? I know we're not fighting a world war right now, but the things that people are so in harms about these days, you're like looking at them like, are you seriously making such a big deal out of that? The, I mean, people are trying to change so many stupid things. Oh, Oh, we can't say cheer man anymore. Now we got to say cheer person. That is what you're concerned about right now? The patriarchy? Oh my God. You know, it's just crazy to me. And I'm the wrong person for people to try to argue stuff like that about. I'm the wrong one. Because I will tell you immediately that what you're talking about, it don't matter. It doesn't matter, okay? We got more serious issues in the world to worry about than you talking about um, whether we should change a word because oh, it's 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 the it's um it's oppressing a gender. Oh please, get over yourself, please. And I know people are gonna say, oh, you're just saying that because you're a man. No, I'm saying that because it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It really does not. I could care less if you want to say cheer person, cheer woman, cheer cheer man. I could care less because that stuff, it don't matter. It's a figure of damn speech, man. It's a figure of speech. Get over yourself. People, 
get so up in arms the 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 the, the Twitter toxic community that gets up and they like oh my god there's more than two genders and oh my god we gotta do this and we gotta do that we gotta we gotta get up today and go march and 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 and, and try to get people to understand that this is oppressing and oh my god it gets so annoying I literally last night I got some news you know what I'm saying like I saw on the news I was on my phone and I saw this thing popped up and I clicked on the video and I was like are you serious I don't know if you guys are, are familiar uh I don't know if you guys are familiar with this um with this case right with a case that just took place um this police officer I don't want to say her name. You guys go look it up. Police officer goes into the wrong apartment and kills an innocent man. She was on trial. They found her guilty. She only got 10 years. And then the key witness in the case dies, gets gunned down days later after the after the um after the sentencing. Days later. And you are concerned about us changing the word from cheer man to cheer person. That's what we're concerned about. You know what I'm saying? That's all I want you to understand. I know I'm ranting right now like hell because this stuff is... It, it, last night, I almost, I almost cried when I heard that that key witness got killed because I'm like, you can't imagine... After all the stuff that went down that was so controversial with that case, where they were stroking her hair in court, making her feel so comfortable, I'm like, this woman just murdered a man in cold blood with the dumbest excuse ever. The dumbest excuse ever. I've never heard an excuse like this. Oh, I, I thought it was... I, you entered the wrong apartment. The minute you get into the wrong apartment, you should know it's not your apartment. The minute you enter the door. The minute you start looking around, you should realize that this is not, Wait a minute, I'm in the wrong place. But I was so concerned because the black man is so... He's so intimidating, right? You're not even safe in your own house. It's ridiculous, man. And you guys don't understand. How, you, let me stop. Let me stop. This episode was cool, man. This episode was really cool. I'm upset about a lot of things. I might even cut this out of the uh, uh, um, out of the review, but I, I just had to get that off my chest because it was really bugging me today. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. As always, I know. Sometimes I may seem like a simple person, but you know what I'm saying? Um, but I, I am passionate about certain things and you know, the foolishness sometimes it just, it gets to me sometimes because people are so up in arms about the dumbest stuff ever, man. Just the, some little small things that you don't have to really worry about. But they just turn it into these big issues because they're talking about patriarchy and men this and men that and men is, men is all that is wrong with the world, right? Nothing is wrong with women. Nothing. It's just like how K. Michelle is out here talking about is out here talking about all men are bad. On a public forum, she's gonna say something like that, and you got people, you got women. You got women listening to you. That there's no good men out there. <sighs> I'm done. I will see you guys next time, man. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Like, dislike, whatever y'all want to do at this point. Because I'm just pretty mad right now. <laughs> so, you know, leave a comment in the comment section. You know, um, sorry I had, uh, you know, I went there. I, you know, just looking at this stuff and watching this stuff and knowing what men sacrifice, uh, uh, men and women that that sacrifice in the war, right? And and and, you know, for us to be so freaking, um, 
up in arms about the dumbest of stuff now in this country is just it's it blows my mind